PM, welcome. Uh, let us know how people can immigrate, uh, how people can um, apply scholarships, and which are these scholarships which are available. At least give us at least 10 or 20 of them, and then we can start applying immediately. Immediately. The list of the scholarships. Right now, mm -hmm. until November 3rd, there is something called Chevening Scholarship. Right now. Chevening Scholarship is the biggest scholarship in the United Kingdom. And the best part of this chevening is masters alone. You don't need to have recommendation letters right now. So don't have excuse, oh, I was delayed. No. They don't need the English proficiency test at all because of the COVID. Because all British council centers, they don't offer English tests, so they cannot request them. But even if they request, it will be after getting the scholarship in June 20, whatever, before you go to start university. That's what they need. So at the time of application, until they make the decision to go to the interview, they don't need those ones. So, Chevening Scholarship. So, if you go to chevening.org, you can be able to apply. So, it's just simple. You put your profile, your name, date of birth, whatever those information. Put your work experience. And there are four S's. Connect about uh, leadership, why, when you come back, what are you going to do? That's something you've been talking about. You are going to do those. So there are four short essays. Short, I mean, maximum is 400 pages. Four, 400 words. So on my YouTube channel, I made a Swahili video and English video. Apart from explaining about chevening, but I wanted to show a screen recording. Every single from opening, from writing your name or the email, all the essays I've explained in Swahili or if you want in English, in detail. So those are, that's number one. You can go there, apply before... Uh, before November 2nd, midnight. Yeah, so that's number one. Right now, we are talking, uh, there is a scholarship, uh, it's called, there is one MBA scholarship in Netherlands. Uh, I forgot the, exactly the name, but I'll send you the link, people can be able to apply. I'll make the video for that. Uh, right now, we are talking almost every school University in America, which has scholarships, is there. What I mean, what is, is which has a scholarship? For instance, if you go download this book, this book, apart from having all the information, uh, so it has uh, the each university, each program. So I put it maybe microbiology or anthropology, political science, international relations, mathematics. So I put all the universities with scholarships, full funded. So for instance, like this one. Uh, is, I'm giving, I want just to, to, to read uh, this one for PhD, just an example. University of Minnesota. All students admitted to the PhD program are offered a five-year funding package contingent, with a, contingent on a satisfactory progress toward degree. The funding package provides payment of tuition up to 14 credits per, per that one, and also the funding is going to offer the everything. So every university you want, in America, for instance, they are here. Fully funded programs on my, uh, biomedical or biomedical. Or so, ever is, so if you download here, there is all the university, for instance, in the US. But let's say you want to go to uh, to England. Apart from Chevening, there is uh, other scholarships which are given by a specific university. There are scholarships like uh, what 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 is it called? This one, uh, th those countries which are colonized by British. What what do they what do we call them? The well, the one queen is the leader, or whatever. What do we call? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, not uh, not Uncle Fon. There is association. I forgot, you all, and uh, I feel terrible myself. But there are those scholarships. If you go to Canada. There are scholarships which are given by the government specific for international students and then the bigger universities of Canada, Toronto, University of Toronto, wherever those bigger ones, they have funding specifically for that one. Uh, on my, one of my videos, I posted the link, I can just go and take those ones and I will send to you. You can be able to post on this video, people can be able to see them. So, there are all those kind of scholarships, specific either by the university or by that one. Uh, so, as long as and the other way, don't apply to any program which they haven't said they are giving money. 
Because if you apply, they didn't say they are going to give money for international students. It means you are applying, agreeing that you are going to be self-financing. So don't apply. Let me get admission and then find the money. No. The admission and the scholarship must be tied together. You have to apply that once you, like, all admitted. If you go to, for instance, uh, let's say university, for instance, like Notre Dame. The biggest university in among the biggest university uh, in the US. So, for instance, if you apply masters in peace and justice studies or PhD in peace studies, it is written all admitted students in this program guarantee a hundred percent scholarship. So, your job is to apply and to get uh, uh, to get admission. Is that one still available now? Deadline is December, December fifteen. That is the deadline. December, yeah. To study what? Uh, anthropology and peace studies, religion and peace. So, uh, for all, so there are four programs: anthropology, political science, uh, religion, and something related to the peace studies. Those were there. If someone applies to for masters, masters and a PhD. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. If someone applies masters or PhD, uh, George Mason University, conflict resolution. All students, you get admission there. Guarantee you get a full scholarship. So you're going to share with us the links. Of I, I will send you. I will just go and quickly get some of these links and send to you. So there are so many. Someone who wants to study mathematics, if you apply at Stanford, you get admission. Stanford for mathematics, masters or PhD, you get full funding. So they, they are there. But the point is, don't go. I'm going there. Have you done the GRE? Have you oh. done the English proficiency test? So that's why I'm usually, that's why usually sometimes I'm, I usually tell people like you have to prepare yourself. Yes, there are few few programs that can give you waiver of those, but in order to compete, don't look for the sympathy. Prepare yourself. That's why you tell. That's why like when uh, like chaffing doesn't need that one. We know for sure it doesn't need. So whatever you doesn't need, apply right away. Right now, I'm talking to you. There is what is called Daddy Scholarship, D A A D, the biggest scholarship to German. You need to have two years of work experience. If you apply, you get it. You go to German. My two brothers and my sister studied PhD in Germany through D A D, D A A D. We call Daddy Scholarship. After they studies, then they settled there. For them, they are professors in Tanzania. Yeah, they don't like to live overseas. So, the scholarships are there, but get prepared. That's why I usually, like, uh, let me start with, like, all the time. The first, if you start the first chapter, the page number one says as follows, if I may read for you. Scholarship application is not a therapy session. Don't express your poverty and the personal problems seeking for the sympathy and the mercy. Ernest Bonfess Makurilo. That's how you start the book. It's a war. You are not going there. You are not going there just to ask. If they want this, they want it, uh, better to do the English proficiency test and have small poor results than not doing. Because you haven't done, your application is incomplete. Mm. That's how it is. So that is the quicker way on how I can help people is to make sure that you prepare yourself. That's why you tell people, if you're applying for scholarship, when do you want to go to study? Remember, international students, if you are applying today, you are applying today to go to study next year. Yes. Next so if, year, September. Yes. So that means if you apply, for instance, right now we are talking to you, is in October 2020, 2021, you are applying for September 2022. It means from now to September, October, August, September, next year, 2022 is one year. So if you don't get it, you have to apply 2022 to go 2023 in September. You are losing two years. So to avoid that, you have to do the following. Take the test required. If you want, I mean, the GRI is only in the US. In Europe, there's no GRI. It's just the English test. In Europe, there's no application fee. So it's just you take one, you just and you apply, then apply over, apply over 20 universities. There is no way you are a soccer player, you take 20 penalties and you lose all 20 penalties. There is no way. But if you apply two universities, 
Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? Yeah, what, you what, are lying in the world. What? Yes. There is a, someone in China. 1.4 billion people in China, they want to move. Chinese, if he's going to Tanzania or Kenya, is the thinking that is in the US. Now, the people who are having higher scores in the world for English proficiency tests and GRI and GMAT are Chinese and Indians. They study, they want to get out of that population. There are so many here. Yeah, and they very smart. So, why are you playing around? Oh, you know, my life, because just you eat chapati, you think that life is easy? <laughs> yeah, so prepare yourself. I know what you are saying. You okay. have to prepare. You have to take the, take whatever is, is required and apply as many universities as possible. Let me give you yeah. an example. When I applied for my master's, I was not ready to lose. I applied 25 universities or 25 scholarships. I got three. So average in every eight applications, I got one. So if I ended applying three, I could get zero. You see? Yeah, exactly. I applied a PhD even if I didn't... The more the merrier. I applied for PhD even if I didn't go later. I applied 15 universities. I got two. So in seven and a half, I got one. So my principle is simple. I apply minimum 20. And is Europe, is it free? What are you worrying? Apply 50. And see if you'll get you. But if someone, oh, I applied universities, I didn't get a scholarship. I ask, I also ask the following question. Have you taken the English proficiency test? No. Then you didn't apply. Unless otherwise they say, we give you exemption like on the so chapter. You have to do TOEFL. Can people do IELTS? Yes. Because is I know yes. IELTS. No, it's end of the two. Yeah, I mean, that, in Canada, if you are going for specifically like express entry, they prefer IELTS, uh, international English language, because it's a British system, which is Canadian system, the same. But if for, stu for studying all universities, they give alternative. You choose the TOEFL or IELTS. But the IELTS is the simple one for many Africans because it's a British English. And it's and marked. You can serve both USA and Canada. Yeah, all, all. If you take the IELTS, you can go. And the other way is. That one, if you get a 6 or 6.5 and above, almost every university in the world they will accept. But the 12, each university or each department, they can have their own score. So you can get a 75 out of 120. Some for they tell you we want 85. If you go to Harvard, they want 110. So, yeah. but if you take the, the, the British version, it has a good, if you get this is the minimum, you passed for any university. 6.5 and above, you'll be in a good hands. So, don't wait for the sympathy. Prepare yourself and apply as many. If you say, you up, how many you apply? Three. So, yeah, that's why you didn't get it. But if you want to get it, you have to apply as many opportunities as possible. Mm.